everybody, welcome to Legos Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Happy New Year! I think this is the first video that I've actually recorded in 2021. I may have posted something New Year's, but it would have been recorded before that. So anyway, here we are. We're in a new year, and I'm hoping that it'll bring some better stuff. Now today hasn't been a great day. Uh, this is the... how was today? Is it the 7th? Can't even read my own phone. The 6th. This is the day that we had the little spectacle in Washington, D.C. And that's not good. I don't care what part of the political spectrum you hail from. That's not a good look for our country. That's insanity. But anyway, I'm hoping 2021 will be better. And we're going to start the first video out with an unboxing. We haven't done one of these in a while. Now this saw... I wish to hell there was something that would tell you home light production numbers. I really do. But I don't know of it. If it exists, it's a well-kept secret. But what I do know is that I've been collecting parts and saws and, and whatever else for the better part of a decade and a half now. And I've bought a lot of parts. And this saw has a part on it that I have never even seen come through my shop. I've never seen it for sale on eBay. I've only seen one other saw like it. Now the model is not uncommon. And I'll even give that away. It's a 410. But this is a special 410. And part of what's special about it is it stinks. Oof. It's supposed to run, but that smell smells a lot like rotten fuel. Now it is pretty cool. Came with the second edition 410 manual. That's pretty sweet. You guys can be sure that I'll be scanning this and adding it to the, uh, the collection on the website. Once uh, the smell of old fuel wears off of it, that's pretty stinky. All right. What else do we got here? Huh. Comes with your, the original scrunch. That's pretty cool, too. All right, have I hemmed around and screwed around enough? It's a full wrap 410. Say, I have only seen one other collector that has the full wrap, at least that has posted pictures. I'm sure there's more than that, but these are not very common. Okay, so here again, here's another. I really got to hang that sheet out here. This is an eye for the year. So this is going to be late 80s. So this would be one of the, the later runs. That is a factory full wrap handlebar on this bad boy. Now they had the DM40, which was the concrete saw version of this, that did have uh, uh, a full wrap, but it was different. It was set up with foot pegs down here that held it even higher off the ground. You can tell this is original. It's got the proper screws and the proper aluminum blocks right there to act as spacers. And it's got the nylon guard here so that if the chain, I mean, with the chain catch, if the chain ever blows through that and gets loose enough to where it's hitting the handlebar, you've really done some stuff wrong. But, whatever, it's there. And this thing is in good damn shape. I mean, that is nice shape. So, I am super stoked. The saw was more money than it should have been. But, when you have a problem like mine, well, sometimes you do that. All right, well, I bought the saw and with the statement that it runs, what do you say we find out? That needs a new gasket there. The cap's been over tightened, probably because it leaks, but it's okay. Keep your fingers crossed, folks.
Well, I don't think I can bitch about it starting on the second pull now, can I? That's pretty sweet. So, yeah. I mean, the muffler's not even hardly rusty. There's, it's had a bucking spike all of its life. The paint's still mostly there. I mean, there's some sawdust. It, it was used at least a little bit, but not very much. And it's already pumping oil there. So I'll have to look through my bar and chain collection and see if I have anything that's appropriate for a saw this pretty. Maybe that's blasphemy calling a saw pretty, but damn it, this one is. This is, this is a work of art. I like it. It's in great shape. So anyway, Homelight 410, full wrap, going in the collection.